Guys, I got to warn you that there's a little trick about the square root of 13 and other numbers like this. Basically, when we're taking the square root of non-perfect squares, numbers that aren't perfect squares, um, your calculator could do something really weird. Let me show you what I mean. So here are the buttons to find the square root of any number. You're going to see the square root is kind of down here in the middle left of your calculator, but it's in green. It doesn't have its own button. So anytime you want something in green, you have to come up here and press that green second button in order to select one of the green things. And then I'm going to type the key underneath that square root. That's the X squared key. And it will give me this square root symbol. Now yours might look just like this, or it might have parentheses when you go along to try. Um, but I want you to see what happens when I type the square root of 13. So there it is. I got my square root symbol. I typed in 13. I pressed the enter key, which is the equals key. And look what my calculator tells me. It says, hey, <laughs> this is just the square root of 13. <laughs> And you're like, why didn't you do the math for me, calculator? And that's because you don't understand something about simplifying. As a mathematician, when I say simplify, I mean do as much math as you can do and keep my answer exact. I don't want these long, ugly decimals that I have to round. And so your calculator knows that. If your calculator's in math print mode. And indeed, that's what's going on with your calculator if this happens. So let me just go show you what I mean. I'm going to click on the mode button here. And you could certainly do it this way. And do you see this fourth line down here, how the word math print is in black? If you don't want your calculator to behave like this, <laughs> simplifying without giving you decimals when you want decimals, you can arrow down to the word classic and press enter to select that classic mode. Then you can actually get out of that screen really quickly by pressing clear. And now look what happens when I select the square root of 13. Again, same way, square roots in green. So I'll hit second. Then I'll type that X squared key because it's right underneath the square root. And notice my thing looks a little different this time. <laughs> square root and it opened up a parentheses. That is a big clue that you are in classic mode, not math print mode. And press enter this time, and this time it gave me a decimal, okay? So one way you can force your calculator to do the math, whether it's gonna give you an ugly decimal or not, is to be in classic mode. And it's not just square roots that behave this way. Fractions, like if I were dividing with fractions, things like that, um, I would be more likely to get a fraction answer in the other in the other mode, in math print mode, and more likely to get a decimal in classic mode. That being said, I have another trick. It's even better. <laughs> Ready? What happens if you're in the middle of taking your test and you get that weird answer, that square to 13, and you forget everything you ever knew about changing the modes and you're like, dear God, Kate, why is this calculator so complicated? I don't know what to do. There is a quick convert button. There's a quick solution. Let me show it to you. Okay. So imagine you did your second and your square root because you wanted to do the square root of 13 and you press enter and there's your calculator being stubborn. Not the answer I wanted calculator. Right above the enter key, there is this little button here with an arrow facing left and an arrow facing right. Click that. That's the quick convert button. And you can force your calculator to give you the decimal answer in a hurry. And it's not just the square roots that work that way. Let's say you were typing, oh, I know, one of those ugly slope problems into your calculator. And you got an answer that here was a fraction and you're looking at your answer keys. There's no fractions on it. There's only decimals. Same thing, that quick convert button. You don't need to flip back and forth between calculator modes. Boom, you hit it. It will give you the decimal equivalent, or in this case, also an approximation. It's also rounded. But basically, the decimal version of the fraction. So that quick convert button, that one's a lifesaver.